I'm Ms. Sefron. I teach third grade over here at Jackson Davis, and today we're going to be using tangrams to understand polygons. So by the end of this lesson today, guys, we're going to be able to identify and combine polygons to make new shapes. So I'm going to give you guys two minutes. You guys are each going to get a bag of tangrams. Tangrams are little shapes, and you're going to be able to combine them and see what type of things you can make. I just want you to explore with them and just play around with them. Okay, so we're going to discuss what you notice and what you wonder at the end of the two minutes. But once you get your bag, you are good to take them out and you are good to start making shapes with them. Can I open? Yep, you can open them. And just it. There you go. So just take them out, see what shapes we have, what type of shapes do you see. There you go. Play around with them. What, what are some things you can do? Yeah? Ooh, a, there's a diamond, she said. Yeah? Gabriel, what shapes do you see? What are some shapes that you see? Some squares. I see some quadrilaterals. Yeah, I see hexagons. hexagons. One, two, three, four. I have four hexagons. There's some triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or some polygons. I'm gonna make a huge mean. What do you know what polygon that is? Oh, Ryan's building something. Yeah, just playing around with it. Once that timer is up, I want your hands off the tie off the tangrams. Okay, so we're gonna look and see what were some things that we noticed that we saw, and what are some questions that we might still have about these tangrams. So hands off your pieces, please. Hands off. You'll I promise you'll get more time to work with them. What are some things that we saw or that we noticed, Justin? Okay, you can make different shapes and sizes when you combine them together, right? Armani, what else did you notice that you see? All They're all colorful. Do you notice anything about the colors? What do you notice about the colors? Because you have some reds, some yellows, some blues, greens. What do you notice about these colors? Maybe the same shapes have the same what? Colors? The same shapes have the same color. So that way it's a little easier for you to notice them when you're picking them up. Same shapes have same color. So like my triangles, my green little triangles, or my orange squares, or my blue quadrilaterals or like a rhombus. Gabriel, what else did you notice? You can add these together to make a different shape. Yep, you can add these together to make a new shape. Milo, what else do you notice? That all the same shapes have the same Okay, do they all have four sides? No. No, but a lot of them have, what do we notice about the sides of these, um, Justin? What do you notice about the sides? Uh, so like this orange they piece. They have angles. Okay, they have angles and sides. So who notices? Hold up, everyone hold up your orange piece. Everyone hold up your orange piece. Oh. How many sides does this orange piece have? Four. Four sides. Now everyone hold up your blue piece. Hold up your blue piece. How many sides does the blue piece have? Four. So can two of the shapes have the same amount of sides? Yeah. They might look a little different, but they're still they're quadrilaterals too. So they can still have some have the same number of sides. All right. What are some questions that you have? What do you wonder? about these tangrams, and Adira, I'll let you, you'll be able to use them in a minute. 
And what are some questions that you still have about these tangrams? There's no right or wrong, just what do you wonder? Okay, so why are some bigger and smaller? Yeah, these are all about this different sizes mostly. Ryan, what other questions do you have? Okay, so why do some have more angles than the other? Okay. So that kind of brings us back to like our different shapes. Meryl, what other questions do you have? Um, what else do you wonder? Why are they more Bless you. That don't fit together with other shapes? Okay, so maybe how can I fit them together? Good. Who's ever used tangrams before? Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you've used tangrams, give me a thumbs up. If you have not used tangrams, give me a thumbs down. It's okay if you haven't. Okay. So the fun thing about tangrams is you can actually get like a pack and you can like build stuff out of them. You can combine them. Oh, we're not playing with them right now. All right. So one more question. What other wonder do we have, Dylan? Why are some of them wooden and some of them are plastic? That's a good question. I think that's just all of them combined. But yeah, that's why. Justin, last one. Mm-hmm. What about that yellow piece do you have? Um, if, if, um, Does it kind of like, could you kind of maybe put two pieces together and it could kind of fit a little bit? No. Oh, okay. The shapes have diversity. Oh, the shapes are, well, the shapes are different, yeah. So how many sides does this yellow piece have? Ryan, how many sides does this yellow piece have? Six. It has six sides. What do we call a six-sided shape? Who remembers that? Six It's called what, Gabriel? Hexagon. hexagon. Okay, so you've got different types of shapes. You've got a hexagon, a triangle, a quadrilateral. I think those are, and then you've got a pentagon. Uh, one, two, three. Nope, just those three. All right, the activity that we're going to be doing is we're going to be using tangrams to create these new shapes. So some of you guys already did that, but we're going to be recording down the shapes that we make. And on that recording sheet, you're going to be circling what shapes you used, okay? So what shapes you used to create it. So I've got a nice little packet right here for you guys. And I even included the shape name or the polygon shape and how many sides it has in case you forgot. So I have some examples up here, and I'm happy to keep this up. So we only have a certain amount of um, triangles. Like I know a lot of these are using different ones, but the whole point of tangrams is that you can create new shapes, and you can create new shapes using the pieces that you have. So this is using our Henrik Learn Profile. This is being able to th um, think creatively. So can you come up with like six different designs for your new shapes using these pieces? I think some of us are going to get really creative and do more a, a shape with more than ten, with more than eight sides. So we're not going to focus on the shapes right now or on the number of sides. We're just going to focus on what shapes you use to combine them. Okay? So, and then we'll come back and look at some reflection questions. So I'm going to leave this up here in case you need some ideas. But I'm going to go ahead. The first page you're going to be looking at is you're going to have... Before you even start building, you need to trace the pieces you have. So you have a little triangle. You've got a little blue piece. I want you to trace all of these, and I want you to tell me what shape it is or what's, um, what polygon it is based off of its sides. So we're going to do this first. So pick one piece when you get your paper. Pick one piece. Yep, you can open it now. Thank you for being patient. So go ahead, first also put your name on top so I know it's yours. I know Miss Anderson always says no name, no fame. Here you go. So are you going to trace that one first? Okay, so we're going to put it here. Now go ahead and trace it. So Ashley, let's do this one. Good job. Now how many sides was that? Three, four, five, six, or eight? Yep, 
trace it. This gave her a hole. Look at like the board again. Yep, I'll put it back up. Are you Okay. So how many sides does the triangle have? Three. Three. So you'd circle three over here. So once you've finished filling out the sh different shapes that you have, then you can start creating. That way you've identified the shapes that we're going to be using today. Oh, have you finished um, in the back side? Oh, there's a back side. Yep, you got to do all your... Yep, there's a back side too. Oh, you're doing each tier. Once you've done yours, now you can start building. Okay. Oh, I love how Ryan is marking down how many sides he has, like actually drawing out. Okay, Lonnie did that too. Very good. Don't forget there is a back side. All right, once you've traced all of your shapes, now you can start building. Yeah, can I build? Yep, you can start. So you're going to have to trace your shapes. So we're going to have to keep it flat to the table. Good job, Justin. Good. So now how many sides does this piece have? Uh, yep, go quickly. So, yep, Quentin, there you go. So how many sides does that one have? More of an intricate shape, which means adding a little bit more pieces and seeing what you use. All right, more. So we use this piece. Mm -hmm. It's not a roll. Mm -hmm. No, because it's not really flat. Okay, with that little. Okay, this looks nice. Now you're used to building. What does B look like again? It's a so that's why it's creative. Mm -hmm. So now it's your turn to build it. Do it in here. Oh, let me go back. So they got a leg flat, okay? Three-sided, four-sided, five, six, or eight-sided. Just looking at this one piece. One, two, three, four. So which one is four? Good, the quadrilateral. Right. Thank you so much for visiting our class this morning. Go, Go Dolphins! Dolphins!